This Week at NASA. As the station fire north of Los Angeles spread, consuming hundreds of thousands of acres, threatening scores of homes, and costing several firefighters their lives, NASA helped the public comprehend the vast scope of the inferno. The Moderate Resolution Imaging Spectro Radiometer, or MODIS, on NASA's Terra satellite captured daily images of the blaze which, at times, sent smoke billowing 10,000 feet over the area. Smoke also caused the Jet Propulsion Lab in Pasadena to close for a day to all but essential personnel. To see these and other images captured by MODIS's Rapid Response Team, go to www.nasa.gov fires. NASA's Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter, LRO, has returned this image of the Apollo 12 landing site on the moon's surface. The Lunar Module Descent Stage, Intrepid, its experiment package, and the Surveyor 3 spacecraft are all visible, along with tracks astronauts Pete Conrad and Alan Bean left behind in the lunar dust during their two spacewalks almost 40 years ago. Commander Conrad and Lunar Module Pilot Bean steered Intrepid down to within 200 meters of Surveyor 3 on November 14, 1969. LRO is performing detailed surveys of potential landing sites for future NASA human spaceflight missions to the moon. We were able to accommodate all that showed up. There was over 200 people that actually showed up today. The Stennis Space Center's Office of Procurement hosted its annual Industry Day. During the day-long event, contractors and small businesses were updated on upcoming business opportunities at Stennis. We've got the A3 test stand that just was awarded a few years ago, and that really brought in a lot of jobs and a lot of um, companies here to do some business at NASA. Small business specialists from the NASA Shared Services Center and the Marshall Space Flight Center also were available to discuss opportunities at their installations. The new director of the Marshall Space Flight Center held his first all-hands meeting with employees. Robert Lightfoot was named center director last month after serving as deputy director and acting director since 2007. And this team is, is doing a fantastic job, um, and I'm so confident in them and, and whatever, that, whatever, whatever comes at us next. It's, it's been this way for 50 years at Marshall. We get stuff thrown at us, and, and this team responds and, and responds well. Lightfoot began his NASA career at Marshall in 1989, with stints at Stennis and headquarters, helping lead propulsion programs for the Space Shuttle and Ares 1 and 5 rockets. In 2006, the native Alabaman was awarded the Presidential Rank Award for Meritorious Executives, the highest honor attainable for federal government work. And that's This Week at NASA. For more on these and other stories, log on to www.nasa.gov.